Hi, so I'm going to be unboxing a couple of products from Filmotech today, both of them together because I'm going to be using them together. So we've got the Argent H5 RGB 7.1 headphones and we've also got the Argent HS1 RGB uh, headphone stand which is what I'm going to put the headphones on when I set it all up. So starting off with the headphones, got the high-res audio and DTS certification. So these will be great for not just gaming, which I'll be mostly using them for, but also music and movies. Uh, round on the sides, uh, just the, the branding, and on the back it's got the picture of the headphones, the uh, controller for it, uh, along with all the different information about the headphones and the microphone and so on. And then for the headphone stand, which I'm also lo looking forward to using, um, this has got dual USB audio pass-through, which is really good to know because it means I'll be able to use it with my laptop, which has only got one USB socket. Around on the back of the box, it shows you the USB sockets that I just mentioned. It's also got a nice little cable tidy on the back there for the headphones. So I'll get these unboxed and have a closer look at them, starting with the headphones. So we have the microphone here, we've got the controller, 3.5 jack with a USB type C connection on the end of it and we've also got um, what looks like USB 3.1 with a micro USB C on the end of it as well. So the headphones come well packaged, so on the bottom it's got the jack socket and the USB type C and then that's it for the sockets on it. It's got plenty of play in it. The straps extend, I should imagine it's big enough for even the biggest tough heads out there. Uh, they do fold inwards not 100% but you can uh, fold them up quite small for carrying them around. The headphones also swivel all the way around similar to all the other Fermatech ones that I've had so far so when it's on the headphone stand you can have the logos facing forward or sideways and when you're not using them if you don't want them if you if you're not using them with a headphone stand and you don't want dust to get in the main part you can just lay them down like that which I have done in past with a couple of others. Um, the actual joint on it, most of it is plastic. This uh, top headrest part here is quite nice and spongy with like leather I'm presuming it's like flux leather, uh, the, the fake type of leather but it's quite nice and soft. The Fermotate logo on the top of the headset there, hopefully you can see it. Um, again that is like the same leather type material. The cushions themselves have also got the same uh, fake leather type material on there. Plenty of sponge in it. I will try these on as well when I set them up uh, and, I, and I've heard what the sound like. It's going to be hard to play back sound so I won't even bother trying to do all that but I will give my honest opinion as to how they compare to my last set and uh, if I think they're, they're good enough for, for music and movies. So this is a controller. It, it's uh, mainly plastic and it's got the USB on the side there and then it's got, I'm assuming that this will be a 3.5 uh, jack input for audio or, or output. And then it's got what looks like gaming mode button on the bottom left. DTS in the center and then the microphone button there which um, will most likely be to turn the mic on and off and then the middle wheel button is well it does feel like it's, it's a button so that might adjust the RGB we'll check that when we plug it in 
and then it's got a nice uh, rotating wheel there which will be for controlling the volume. Uh, we'll also need to plug in the microphone. So that's what the other socket on the bottom here is for. Uh, it can only go in one way so you can't really get it wrong. And then let's just see. There's no turn on the joint, but the cent the majority of the centre part is is that flexible type material that bends to where you want it. Uh, you can slightly bend it up and downwards slightly, uh, but most of the movement is for bending it towards your face or away from your face. So before I plug this one in, we'll quickly unbox the headphone stand. And then I'm going to get them all plugged into my laptop and see how they look when they're all lit up. And I'll also tell you how they sound as well. So this is the headphone stand. It's uh, primarily the aluminium, which is all the silver bit you can see. It's got the Thermotate logo on the bottom of the base there, which will light up. And then all the rest of it around the back is plastic material. It's got the USB uh, 3.1 input there which will connect up to your, your computer or your laptop. It's got the, uh, I'm assuming it's the the audio pass-through 3.5 uh, jack plug there. It's got the cable tied here for your headphones on the back there. And then on the top it's got a nice soft rubber um, thing there to hold your headphones in place. Uh, they shouldn't slide about too much and it will protect it from getting scratched or damaged. And then on the right hand side of the base we've got two USB outputs. So you can plug your headphones into one and maybe a mouse into the other. Uh, nothing on the front. On the bottom it's got the anti-slip rubber type material. So it's pretty solid when it's on the desk. It's not going to slide about. So what I'll do now is I will quickly get this hooked up to my laptop and... We'll have a look how it looks when it's all set up and I'll let you know what the headphones sound like as well. So that's all set up now, it was simple enough to do. I'm using at the minute to control the lighting and the headphones and stuff the iTech software. So there is a few different uh, Thermotech software that you can download. And because this is just a, um, a, a tablet laptop, um, Obviously I don't have any RGB fans connected or any controllers or anything so I'm not using the um, the TT RGB Plus software which is the one I use on my main computer. I think for anybody with um, <coughs> with a main computer set up that's also got Thermaltake controllers in there, uh, RGB fans and so forth. I think you'd probably be better off using either the 1.0 or the 2.0 version of the, the TT RGB software rather than the iTech software. <coughs> I'm not 100% sure if the the equalizer option, uh, speaker and mic options are available in that software. I'm just assuming that there would be. If not then you might need to also install the iTech software. Uh, but the iTech software is simple enough to, to set up and uh, once it's all connected it picked up the headphones and the stand and it I think it updated the headphones straight away, there were a firmware update so it's updated that. Um, I've just quickly set the headphones on the stand to the to the snake mode. There is quite a few lighting options to pick from on here but I think there's actually more on the TT RGB software. So if I change it to the spiral rainbow, rainbow effect, press apply and then you can see it's doing the beautiful rainbow effect. And the same again for the headphone stand as well. Spiral rainbow and then apply that. So now they'll both be doing it. So I'll turn the light off so you can see the the lighting on it a little bit better. But it does actually go all the way down the side, around the front and on the front logo there as well. Um, but I'll just quickly dim the lights. So with the lights off you can see that the 
headphone stand itself, the light coming from the logo is actually reflecting on the back of the stand, which is quite nice. The light that goes around the, the back both sides of this and around the front also lights up whatever's behind it and also the desk surface as well so you can see it's all lighting up on the bottom there. And then obviously your headphones as well when you've got them on there it's quite nice and pretty. I know most people don't like the uh, the RGB itself but the whole purpose of the RGB is that you do have the choice to pick any colour you want so a lot of people like to have it red for instance. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just quickly see what the headphones sound like and then I'll give you my final verdict on the headphones. Okay so I've had a good play with them now and I'd uh, listen to the to a couple of movie trailers on YouTube and some music as well and uh, the, the pretty decent headphones for, for what they are. I'd say that it's probably the best sounding Fermatate ones I've had so far. Uh, slightly less bass than I've had in the past but I haven't properly messed about with the equaliser yet but it is very clear. These are probably the loudest headphones I've, I've ever tried to go so loud that I don't even put it to the maximum volume. I probably have it at about 80% most because it's that loud. Um, uh, just to clear up as well the controller, that centre button, when, when you press that it actually mutes the headphones and it lights up red as well to let you know it's muted. Uh, you just press it again to unmute it. And then the, the, the microphone button on there, this actually controls the microphone volume when you've pressed this button and it's lit up. And then the same for the DTS logo but that also is the 7.1 button so at the moment I don't have any DTS uh, drivers installed on the laptop uh, but it is putting it into 7.1 uh, for most of the videos I've watched though it sounded better without the DTS on so that's mainly well the 7.1 uh, the 7.1 it had been mainly used on my main computer with obviously movies or games that support 7.1 uh, stereo YouTube videos are not going to sound right so I haven't properly tested that yet uh, and then the little gaming button here as well as far as I remember that controls when you press that you, the controller basically basically controls the um, the game volume or the people talking in the game's volume one of them um, and when when none of them are lit up then the, the volume controls the overall volume um, so like I say anyway this this at the moment is connected up with a USB to type C and it does have the 3.5 jack on there as well um, I'll just point out as well that this is Windows 11 so nobody should have any issues with uh, Windows 11 and the software and the headphones and the stand working with it uh, my computer upstairs is also Windows 11 so I'm not able to test it on Windows 10 but um, I would imagine that's the most common uh, operating system at the moment so I shouldn't imagine Filmotech not making sure that it works fine on, on Windows uh, 10 as well. Uh, so like I say, um, hopefully the uh, TTRGB Plus software works fine with it as well, I will test that on my main computer. Um, I've got some more unboxings to do and I'll also be upgrading my main computer. So maybe in a, a month or two if you check back with me I will have um, tested all these on my main computer and know a bit more if you needed to ask any questions. But until then I'll see you in the next video.